Hello, I'm Mike. In this video, I shall introduce an approach on how to use Power BI date time DAX functions with the Power BI field to shift observer date time for report visualizations dynamically. In practice, when we move into the new calendar year, especially when we have a long historic data for our reports, we may want to focus on a short period values in each visualization. For example, focus only on a six or nine months look back data from a latest date or today. This demand requires us to find a method to shift date time in a report along with the time moving together automatically. In the video, I shall share a method by using text date time functions with Power BI field feature. In my Power BI report example, which has been used in my previous videos, I have a simple data table with its own time dimension columns and a few created measures. With these generated measures, I have created two line charts with a few slicers in two report pages. The data is collected since December of the 2020 till today, 28th of January 2022. We have a 14 months data. Now business users want to see and monitor only the nearest nine months look back data from today, which means that requires only the latest previous nine months data should be reflected dynamically in all visuals in this report. To make this happen, let's move to the data view to have the table visible. On the home tab, click new column icon Name the column as Observed Months Index. By the formula, we need to apply DAX date function eDate, which returns the date that is the indicated number of the months before or after the start date. We use eDate to calculate the maturity dates or due dates that fall on the same day of the month as the date of the issue. Regarding the details of it is syntax or remarks, I have attached the Microsoft site URL as reference for you in this video descriptions. In the open bracket after e date, we enter the max function to the local date column to identify latest start date from the column. Close bracket, then enter the number of months minus nine, which is the Peers, we want to look back from the latest start date. By now, the return value is the same date as today, but back to nine months ago. It should be 28th April 2021, as the latest start date is 28th January 2022. Now it is time to use the identify date to compare all values dates in the table. If these dates are larger or equals to the identified date, then we enter the 1, otherwise as 0. Close bracket. We have the index value 1 and 0 in the ended new column. By filtering 1 or 0 to the column, we see that our interested values can be filtered as expected. Let's place the index into our report filter. Move to the report view, expand the filter dialog bar under the section of a filter on all pages. Drag and drop the observed month index field into the box of and data fields here. In the drop down list of the filter type, we may select any option for our case. Let's try the advanced filtering. From the drop down list of the show items when value, choose is. Then enter the 1 in the empty value box. Click apply the field icon. Now we can find all shown dates and values in all visuals are limited to the period 28th of April 2021 to the latest date 28th January 2022. Here one thing to know is if you have a more complex data model with additionally time dimension table, you may need to ensure that time dimension table has the activity relationship to the factor table and it is related measures. 
Thanks for your watching and I hope this video bring helps to your Power BI developments. If you like to watch more videos from my channel, please press subscribe button in below. See you in next video.